great uh, uh, story in the papers this morning, John, that you're going to love. I think it's kind of slightly breakfast related. Apparently, eating eggs can, particularly for men, mm. make you less angry. What? <laughs> John is never angry, ever, ever, ever. It's because I eat loads of eggs. I think it's the body uses a compound inside the eggs to make serotonin, of course, the chemical that makes us all feel happy. You're happy every day. You must be eating a lot of scrambled egg on your way to what work. What is this, like a significant reduction? Uh, apparently, um, they studied 168 men from 35 to 55 who'd been referred for aggression counselling by work. Their diets were compared to those of colleagues who had not been referred. The more aggressive men were found to be fatter and heavier. Well, sorry, well, you looked at me then. No, I didn't know where to look, that's all. That if you have more protein, and particularly eggs, it makes you happier. That's... Well, I think we'll leave that there. <laughs> um, I, I like this story in the Mail today about a family who run a, a, a cafe in, uh, in Kent. They're selling up. They've got 8,500 teapots to get ready. So another wow. breakfast theme. that's a lot of tea. Um, and they've got a Churchill one, they've got a Del Boy teapot, they've got an R2-D2 teapot. D that's D difficult to R2 say. R2-D2 teapot. <laughs> if you've got a teapot they might not have, I would love to see your teapot pictures this morning. So do get in touch, WhatsApp us an image, uh, give us your name and where you're getting in touch from, and maybe we'll uh, forward that to the Blaze family in Kent that there's some they've been missing out on. Yeah, speciality teapots. There's nothing better than a proper cup of tea at this time of day, particularly if it's been made by someone else. With some eggs. Yes. Some eggs on the side. Yes, absolutely. We were talking a little bit earlier about a cafe in Kent, mm. which is on the market, and they've got to get rid of their teapots. Eight and a half thousand teapots. Mm. And we asked whether you had any unusual teapots, and guess what? Yeah, oh, You yes. do. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Jill Butler. Morning, Jill. Her cat with a curly tail. So this is Valerie Rolls. This is her teapot with otters on the top. Oh, these are moving quite quickly. Hang on, here we go. Look at this from Margaret Snow. Oh, a Corrie Recognize teapot. Recognise that. Yeah, the Rover's Return. That's from Margaret in Exeter. Good morning. And look at these. These are rather elaborate, aren't they? They're, um... God, it would be a bit of a crime to pour a cup of tea out of one of those. I wouldn't know where the handle was. They're kind of camouflaged, but more... What have you got? Squirrels and flowers and... It's all there. Keep your, keep yeah, your teapots do, coming. Yeah, do send us pictures of your fabulous teapots this morning at breakfast time. And if anyone would like to send us in a cup of tea, that would be even better. <laughs> yeah, <that'd> be good. <laughs> uh, we asked you a little bit earlier this morning if you had any teapots at home because we were talking about a cafe, weren't we, in Kent? Yeah. That had um, that had decided to close, and they've got eight thousand five hundred pots that they need to get rid of. Some Lots extraordinary of ones. Yeah, yeah, and they're not your average teapot. Many of them are highly unusual, and we have been inundated with pictures of your teapots from home. Let's start with this one here from Pete Smith. Now, this will not surprise you. Pete was a police officer in no. Essex for many years. No. <laughs> and this teapot serves as a, remind, as a reminder of his career, and he is now retired. That's fantastic. I wonder whether that was his retirement present. Uh, Jill Henderson has sent in a lovely golf-themed teapot. Look oh. at that. <laughs> Should be a tea caddy, shouldn't it, really? Oh. Uh, Jill's son gave her this <laughs> as a gift 40 years ago, and it looks in great nick, doesn't Ready it? Ready for a cheeky one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was from Janice Stowe in Henley-on-Thames. Yeah, I'm not sure I want a cup of tea from that. Would you want to drink no. that? Maybe not, no. Not the most appetising, but uh, thank you very much indeed <laughs> for all those teapots. Uh, we wondered whether you'd be able to send us some, and uh, you haven't let us down, as ever. Um, what we would really like now, though, is just actually a cup of tea. <laughs> so, uh, I'll make you one. Thank you, you very one. much indeed. So that is it from us here on BBC Breakfast for today.